Well, hello everybody. This here is the switches at my grandparents' house. There's a lot of cool things I want to show you guys here. It's a bit emptier, but that's all right. I'll start off just right here. The front door turns on this one over the light, or the doorway. And you got this one over the stairway, the basement. This middle one goes to the chandelier over the stairway to the second floor. We'll get a closer view of that later. This third one does the cove lighting in the upstairs hallway. I know what you guys might be thinking, cove lighting, how old is this place? <laughs> that seems like a very 70s thing. This is actually 90s. But you guys will see in a moment the sheer size of the hallway. It's necessary to do that. And then these two go to lights above that you guys can't really see right now. We'll show you later. There's another switch for those upstairs. And then these go to that can light above the door. The front room here goes to this one. And then, I can't really see that light out there. There's another one on the other side. I'm not getting a good view of it here, but I'll show you guys later. And then one of those fixtures by the entryway here. And there's another one. Let's see if I can get a better view. This is not easy. Right there. So there's two of them. So, this is the front room, the big window nice to the outside. This first goes to the main can lights here. With this one being a bit different as you can see because you can angle it like a spotlight over the mantle of the fireplace. So if you have like a picture or something there, you can shine light directly to it, which is pretty cool. And this switch goes to a switched outlet right here, which you guys, you can kind of see on the floor here, the mark, there used to be a curio cabinet here with porcelain figurines. And it had lights, it was controlled by that plug four set lights. Make our way into the kitchen now. Don't worry, I'll be visiting every floor. This switch here does the same as the first one at the front door. This light over the garage and stairway, and then over the front door. This one here goes to the closet. This is like a little like coat shoe closet. It's been used for miscellaneous things over the years. There's just some random things left over for it now. Over here, we have over the desk, some I forget what you would call these, strip lights, something like that. Over here, there you go. Here's for the kitchen. This first one goes to this fixture that was over the main kitchen table. I've never been able to do this until they removed the table, but... Hope you 
guys can see me well. Uh, my hair touches the glass here. Never thought it was that low until now. <laughs> Now, I was really stupid. As a little kid, I loved to help replace the light bulbs. And I didn't know the difference between the different color temperatures, so it might be kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it here. Warm, like a daylight fluorescent -y bulb. Now, let me see if I can get a shot of it turning on. That fluorescent bulb that's like right there is always the one that turns on first. This switch here goes to the under cabinet lighting. That's what I meant to say for over there. The under cabinet lighting. These things got excruciate these things get excruciatingly hot if left on for like five minutes. It's insane. But they do great at lighting up the counter. This last one here is for a fluorescent fixture over the kitchen itself. Used to be much more vintage, but then the ballast broke in it, so they replaced it with this. And this is where I learned to cook. This switch here for the under cabinet lighting. This is where she would have a mixer. Here was like butcher block and stuff like that, other miscellaneous things. And here's where they had the coffee maker and grinder. On the left here is for the garbage disposal, but that's loud and I'm not gonna run it and make a ton of noise right now because the noise is gonna travel and I doubt that my grandma would be happy with me running the garbage disposal with no water right now. So we'll just, you'll also have to take my word on that, but this right switch goes over the light, can light above the sink. We'll make our way into the dining room beautiful dining room these the camera's at eye level right now so me looking straight ahead this is how low that these fixtures hang but the table would be right here so that wouldn't really be an issue right here first switch on the right goes to the four can lights and then this one on the left goes to the fixtures in the middle These ones have a lot of bulbs in them. These push up. Hope that gave you a good view of what was in there. And then over here, this is similar to what was in the front room, but this is much smaller. And this one is not on a switched outlet. It actually has a switch right here. As you can see, three of the four bulbs are working. Had like china and stuff in it. Turn that off. It's essentially what was like I said on the other side, except the other one had a switched outlet. This one did not. Turn that off. Make our way into the area, which could be like a master suite kind of thing. So you can divide this off into being like a private sector for family member. But in the hallway of that, we have this fixture, this hall light by this switch here. This closet never had a light in it, so there's no switches or anything going to it. Here in the bathroom, I'm actually gonna turn off this light because you know we don't want to waste power. It's super bright in here. This first switch goes to these two uh, 
boob lights, as they're so often called. These are the main lights. And here it's kind of funny and immature of me to mention how there are two of them right next to each other here. This next uh, switch up here goes to the, I guess you could call these sconces. I'm not really good with lighting terminology, so please forgive me on that, but I believe these are called sconces. Super bright, runs super hot, <laughs> but look at this detail. You don't find stuff like this anymore. The beautiful brass finishings. I believe these were by the same companies. You can kind of see around the rim of these lights too. It looks similar. It's got like a similar pattern. Beautiful, beautiful. And the last switch goes to the exhaust fan over the shower, which that is a light. The light was working for years, then it stopped working and they just haven't replaced whatever bulb or whatever is in there. So yeah, let's turn these bad boys off. Make our way into the, what we use as a computer room, but could also be a bedroom. This is like the first floor bedroom. It's got dual switch here. The first one goes to the main square light which is common in basically all of the bedrooms, except that it has two bulbs, but only one of them is working in this one. So the room is a bit dimmer, but is what it is. And this switch here goes to the little closet light, which they added a little medallion around recently, at least I think. I don't know why, but I don't remember ever seeing that medallion there until fairly recently, but maybe it's always been there and I just didn't pay attention. I don't know. It's a pretty nice closet too, with mirrored sliding doors. Pretty cool. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, these are intercom speakers around the house. There's one there, there's one in the hall. Let me turn this off. Let's go to the basement real quick while we're here because everything's down there. Oh, I guess I'll show you this while we're here too. Garage. This has this one switch for two socket lights. It's also got the garage door lights and this little thing too, where you can pull to have the light come down. Switch turns on. It's also got a plug. Just pull down. I'll fix that later. But yeah, there's that. Oh. For the garage door. <coughs> All right, so for the basement, it's first light. From the stairs. Turn it on and you get the one, two, three can lights along the side here. This was another young Alex doing. Turning on the, or putting in a daylight or like harsh white, whatever that super bright white is called instead of a warm light bulb when it went out. Those lights are also controlled by this switch here. Then we go to the second one. Turns on the two in the middle. The fact that this one's different is another young Alex doing. Putting one of those CFLs in there. 
This third one goes to the other four. So this one, this one, this one, another Alex doing. It takes forever for it to warm up. And this one. And then finally, we have this guy right here, which turns on the fireplace spotlight, which you can see for this one is actually kind of facing the mantle here. Now this here is something quite interesting. This was part of the house originally. The house was not built from the ground up by my grandparents, but they did a significant remodel to it when they bought it in the late 90s. So this one, this here is a basement exhaust fan by Fasco, as you can see. It's very old. For the longest time, this didn't have the cover on it. The cover was in the kitchen for some reason, one of the cabinets. But for those of you who may not know, I didn't learn this until recently. I'll just, I have a video of this that I'll be posting separately at some point, maybe before or after this, but I'll just turn it on. Speed one. I don't know where this exhausts to, but it's controlled by a little plug in there. You guys can't really see. Um, but this was used for like when people would smoke in their houses so that you can exhaust the cigarette smoke. So that is probably like a 60s, 70s feature right there. I don't know when this house was originally built, but I'd imagine it's probably in like the 70s. No lighting under these cabinets here. But if we go into the dividing rooms, here we have the storage room, which has actual two fluorescent fixtures. That ticking you're hearing is a time clock for uh, timed outlets for the outside. because when they would have Christmas decorations out, They'd put those on a timed outlet. This is the most vintagey room in the house. Drop ceiling and fluorescent lights. You don't get more 80s office than this. Granted, these aren't, I don't think these are super old fixtures by any means, but still cool nonetheless. I don't know if it caught on camera or not. I'll give these a little time to cool down. But this one starts before this one. So turn it on now. Yeah, you probably saw that. That started first and then this side brightened up. So there's that. And this other switch goes to a little closet light like the one we saw earlier. and then spare fluorescent tubes in there. This is the only, well, no, not the only fixture in the house that used them. The kitchen fixture did, and there's a few others that did. The cove lighting uses fluorescence too, but I'll talk about more about that when we get up there. Here we have the soundproof room, or furnace room as we called it. The first switch here turns on the first row of lights. This one blew up in my uh, face one time when uh, I was just coming in here to play. They have the pool table and stuff like that in there. This room's been used for so many things throughout the years. Storage, game room, pool room. Furnace room <laughs> with an intercom too. Although this intercom is the only one that I do not believe works. It's the only one I haven't been able to get work recently. As you can see, volume's pretty high. And usually the, you'll hear a popping sound when you press any of these buttons. But you don't hear it with this one. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But this other switch here turns on these two lights. I'll let you all take a wild guess who is responsible for the different color tones of this light. Or of this, these two here. But yeah, this was... 
This was nice when you had like a TV in here, you could have this portion have be light on or light off. It was nice so you can control them separately. Here we have a crawl space that is above the floor. So you need a chair of some kind to enter it or a ladder. But in here, just one little light and another fluorescent fixture. It's a huge crawl space, great for storage. Also got all the cables and stuff for like the phone line running through it and all that fun stuff. Yeah, really nice convenience. And lastly in here, this isn't a switched place necessarily, but this is the utility room with the water heaters and the furnace. It's just got a pull chain socket light here. Sprinkler valve and everything too. glad I recording video of this so that I can also have proof that I turned off all these lights when I'm done because my grandparents were always sticklers with like make sure you turn off the lights and rightfully so electricity ain't cheap so this switch here also controls these three by the stairs so notice going from left to right here fireplace off those four off those two off the laundry room which has the Kenmore Elite HE4T and HE4 set. I'm gonna miss these machines. We have this first switch. Goes to a fluorescent fixture overhead. This one was like a smaller version of what was originally in the kitchen. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera, but it's buzzing. It's buzzed my entire life. <laughs> and then Raise these shades to show you. Oh, you guys can't really see it from here. That's a shame. But there is another light fixture outside. I'm just going to turn it on, and when I go outside, I'll show you guys that. Let's switch here goes to the closet, which used to have a globe like the other two closets we've seen so far. I like the other closets we've seen so far, but took that out and added the switch thing because of yours truly. I did a lot to this house. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is a bit stuffy here. Um, but here we are in the second bathroom. First light. Your first switch, I should say, goes to this boob light up here. This time we only have one. This top switch goes to the vanity fixtures, which I always thought were pretty interesting. Look at those like little ornate detail in there too. It's crazy. Little, little details you just don't notice most of the time. And this final switch, exhaust fan, and shower light. Oh, that freaked me out. This toilet sometimes refills with water and it's, <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen, so it kind of spooked me, but shower that was never used. It was used more for storage for the laundry room than anything. It's got this whole deer, like, it's not vinyl, but something on it. Something I didn't know until very recently. There's a little outlet hidden behind the trim here that they used to plug in a 
stick vacuum, cordless vacuum right here. This is the main intercom thing right here. And this is how you control all the different zones. I couldn't tell you which is which. This is also how you could control the doorbell. I'll have to show you guys the doorbell sound. You can have it play across all the speakers if you really want. So whenever someone rings the doorbell, every speaker in the house could be ringing at once. These gray cables here went to a CD player, which is attached to the intercom system. As you can see, you can just press that right there. Press for CD. And you can listen to music and blast it around the house. I used to do that a few times while I was here. I'd bring some CDs from home and uh, play them here. The speaker for my bedroom was number one. So I would just turn the rest of them off and turn that one on and listen to my music while I'm here. It was a cool little thing until I eventually got my own CD player for the place. Here's the family room. There was a carpet here for basically the entirety of this room's existence. So that's why there's the color differential of the floor here. But start with the three switches here. This first set controls the, the two outer rows minus the other uh, spotlight here. Middle switch magically goes with the middle row of lights. This last switch goes to the spotlight. So the family or that front room is the only one where the spotlight is controlled, not individually, like with the rest of the fixtures. So here's all the lights on in the room. And this one right here, there's technically 10. There's a view of all of them. Well, uh, it's the best we'll be able to get. This used to be a bar before my grandparents bought it and then they turned it into a TV station. These little speaker wires down here going to a surround sound system I believe they had installed when they first moved into the house. I, I only ever remember hearing this surround sound system work once. But as audio equipment got better and better, these quickly became outdated. But they're still there in case uh, anyone in the future wants to use them. This switch here, what, did it, what does it go to? I don't know. This is a mystery switch in the house. Every good house has a mystery switch, right? I believe it probably went to a light fixture that was originally over here for the bar. But that's not there anymore, so just doesn't do anything now. And all of these outlets are live right now. So there's no switched outlets in this room. My only guess is that it, this is a little crawl space here. My only guess is that there might be a light in this crawl space, but I've only ever seen it open once and I don't wanna open it now because I know it's a pain in the ass to close. It looks easy, but it's not. So this is either a nothing switch or probably another socket like we saw in the other crawl space. The two crawl spaces are not connected though because this crawl space was an addition to the house. This whole room was an addition to the house done before my grandparents bought it. But the basement obviously was original. Then we have two switches back here. I honestly forget exactly what these go to. This first one, ah, okay. So this first one goes to these lights on the side here.
like we saw on the front. But don't worry, we'll go outside so we'll get a better view of those. And then this one goes to a fixture that's hidden in that corner up there so you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. When I'm done, I'm gonna go turn off the one in the laundry room actually because when we're done inside, we'll go outside and I'll turn the ones on the outside on to show you. And that's how we'll end the video. This switch here, I almost forgot about it, goes to lights outside of the balcony. There's one there and there's another one on the side. That one I'm gonna leave on though because those lights actually need time to warm up. And they take like a good five minutes to get noticeably bright. This little switch here, more under cabinet lighting underneath the TV. And that's the first two floors. So now all that's left to do is head on up. see on my notifications I just got a YouTube comment as I went up the stairs here's the hallway two skylights so serve as the main source of light during the day but at night the cove lights Obviously not all the bulbs are working, but there is lighting around the entire perimeter of this. It's always one of the coolest features of this house, in my eyes anyway. There's other switches for that, so I'll show you. This was my room. Has these lights here. This is actually where, this isn't where Fans of Games first started. It started out in this house. This is where the first gaming videos on Fans of Games started. It was in this room. I set up my iPad on my bed and the TV was on that wall with all the systems. And this is where Fans of Games started. Originally, we had the glass out of this fixture because it just lets a little more light in the room. But they put it back on. So. Here's my speaker here. I was talking about the speaker pops. Here we have two of those closets like we saw earlier, except this time, instead of having those um, other kinds of lights, they have these fluorescent fixtures, which are oddly similar to the ones that I have in my closet now, except the ones I have now, I believe, are LEDs, whereas these are actual fluorescent fixtures. Left one for the left closet. Right one for the right closet. I am very sorry if you are having an adverse reaction to the flickering. I'll make sure to put a thing of text to let you know that that's gonna happen. Because there is gonna be a bit of that coming up. Basically in all these closets. So here was my bathroom, one I would share with my cousins and brother obviously too. First switch goes to the lights on this side for this sink, although that one is broken, the vanity fixtures. Middle one for this vanity. And the third one for the exhaust fan. And then what could this switch go to? A switched outlet, perhaps? 
Not quite. Listen to the noise as I, as I push this switch. I'll stop blinking now, but let's see if it'll blink again when I turn it on. Yep. It's for the jacuzzi in this bathtub. Never really used it. It's really loud. But it's there. And this is the button to turn it on and off once you have it running. But like I said, it is super loud because we don't usually, we've never really used it. So make sure we turn that off. Oh man, I should be careful with where I'm touching here. I know that YouTube comment, wow. Hopefully they're good. <laughs> All right, so this is was one of my aunt's rooms. Turn into a cousin's room later. Right across the hall from my room. Had the same fixture. Except this time, it has two walk-in closets. There's gonna be flickering. Fluorescent fixture with the socket. It's a bit noisy, but hey, you got a walk-in closet, so that should be the least of your concerns, right? <laughs> Same thing in this one. I'll make sure to close all these doors when I'm done. Same exact situation. Is a little stiff, but they haven't really been used in a while, so it makes sense. Nothing in this closet. This panel here is for a switch for the cove lights again. This middle switch. There's another switch for that one downstairs, that top one on the right side. They both control these lights outside of the bedrooms. There's one, there's four windows in the front of the house. Each one has a light over it. I'll show you those. There's one over my room, so you can see Floor is illuminated by it now. My room had the brightest of these. You can't really see it well through the screen, but that's okay. And this last fixture, that last switch, goes to the chandelier. Here's the close up of it again. I think it's got two layers of those six bulb things. I think the bottom is full, the top is not, so it could get a lot more bright if need be. Turn that off. Turn the cove lights off too. Okay. So this is the master bedroom, my grandparents' bedroom. Notice something odd about the middle? Well, this first switch, there's a series of can lights all around. Only this bulb was caused by me. I don't believe that one was. The fact that they're different. But what could this, the second switch do? <laughs> More cove lighting. 
whenever I was in here for whatever reason, this was my preferred light of choice, was of course the cove lighting, because it was just so cool. None of my grandparents never really used it. I would not be at all surprised if these are the original bulbs that were in here. Only one of them is burnt out, so that tells you something. Unlike in the hallway where it was used all the time, this cove lighting was never used at all. And you know, I always thought it would have been so cool to put ceiling fans right where the two, like, intersections are for the seams here. Or even just one in the middle. It would have been super cool. Can light, cove light, fan. Even a fan with a light, that would be absolutely amazing. We do Casablanca fan too, just add a third, make it a three gain box, I think it is. And then put an IntelliTouch there. So that's super cool. This is the access to the balcony here. I don't want to mess with the shades, but so we'll just go through it. But this switch here, sorry, my camera work is lacking right now. It is for this light over the balcony. Just that single can light. And you can't really see the other ones that are next to it on camera that we turned on downstairs and need to be warmed up, but they're right there too. I don't feel like going out on the balcony right now because it just got redone. So gotta let it sit. This first switch here in the hallway goes to the the hallway can light between the two closets. And this switch here goes to one of the closets. That's access to the furnace up there for the upstairs. That does have a light in it, but I'm not opening that. So just like you had to do with the crawl space downstairs in the family room, please take my word for that here. But it's just got this one light in this closet. And then in this one, the switch here goes to that. Same ordeal. There's that fixture. I don't know where exactly that came from, but it's the same fixture that's in here. For some reason, I think they just had an extra. I don't know why, but they did. Another intercom speaker. Their bedroom is two. This switch here goes to the jacuzzi. This is like an actual jacuzzi here, as you can see. I used to use this a lot as a kid. I think I was the last person to ever use it, actually. Wall painting there. Creates a nice ambiance. Then here we have the four-way switch of the bathroom. First switch goes over the vanity fluorescence. Another YouTube comment, geez. All right, this one here goes to the can over the jacuzzi. This third one goes to the exhaust fan. And this last one goes to the fixture over the shower. Turn those all off now. Let me just double check to make sure I turn this one off. I suppose we'll know when I go outside, but yeah, all right, so that's off. Off, off. For the last segment of the house, One hallway closet, same light as before. Let's close those. Second hallway closet, same light. This switch here 
Take a while to guess what it goes to. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Code light. Here's the other hallway bathroom. First switch, vanity, with all four of them working. Or, I guess, with all four of them with work, working bulbs. This middle switch, can over the toilet, or can over the can, if you will. And then this third one, to the exhaust fan. They don't have one over the shower here for some reason. Never understood why. But it wasn't my bathroom, so I didn't really care. This bedroom here, this one has some significant history with fans of games. This is where I recorded my first series of fan videos, including the very first video on the channel, My First Fan. It was right here on an ironing board. I, res I remember it like it was yesterday. And this is also where I had the Hunter Fleming installed because this was the first unoccupied room at the time. Because I had that installed when I was like really, really little. So they installed that in here for me. Didn't have a wall controller or anything. It was pull chain control if you've ever seen that video. So yeah, this right here is the room where fans of games started. And look at us now, almost 700 subscribers. This closet, same fixture as the other closets, the bedrooms anyway. Bye bye fans of games room. Oh, almost forgot the can light outside of this one. It's gonna be really blurry because of the stupid screen door, but nothing I can really do about that, guys. I'm sorry. So this is the other bedroom right next to it. First switch goes to the fixture here. That's what the inside of them looks like. This one is just missing one of the glass panels. I don't know why I wasn't in, I wasn't in charge of that. I always wonder how that happened. Probably from just replacing a bulb, because this one never had the glass removed. This first switch goes to this first closet, and the second switch over here. There's the chandelier again. You can see it through the window here. Goes to this uh, closet fixture. I don't know why I was blanking out of the names right now. Then here's the last of the four cans above the bedrooms and the upstairs. Another speaker. I'm not really doing a good job pointing out the speakers, but I'm sure you guys see them, you know they're there. So that is all the switches. Oh, no, I almost lied to you guys. Almost did, but I didn't. Because these two, I almost forgot to do these. This first one goes to Another closet light, just like the other ones you saw. And this one goes to these two over this like common area. And there's the fixture. All right, so now that was all the switches on the inside of the house. Oh. So now, make our way to the outside. And then we'll be done here. These two 
All right, good. The ones over the balcony are nice and bright now, so I'll be able to show you guys. Excuse me while I get my shoes on. And we'll be right back. Show you guys everything out here. All right. So here are the four cans over the top. Here we have the two by the front door two over the side then in the front yard close-up of one and then close-up of the other now we'll make our way around the side into the back. So that one by the laundry room is right here. Tweety Bird, or not Tweety Bird. Is that Tweety Bird? I don't know, I'm not good with Disney characters. Just like we saw on the other side. This is some really loud squirrels. This light here is one that you plug in and the cord is not long enough right now. So I can't be, I won't be able to plug that one in for you guys, but it looks like it has halogen bulbs in it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think those are halogens. This is that corner light I was telling you guys about. Right here. These are super bright for the night. This is essentially that one that you guys saw on the other side that I couldn't plug in. That's just this same fixture, except for some reason that one's not hardwired. These are the ones like you saw on the outside of the front. And these are the bright ones over the balcony that light up the patio at night. They're not fully warmed up yet either, but you can tell that they're there. These things will, once they're on long enough, instead of looking orange, they'll look white. But they gotta be on for probably at least another 10 minutes, I think, before we even get close to that point. These things take forever to get going. It's crazy. But well, guys, those are the switches at my grandparents' house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay cool, everybody.